because um, Matt LeCroy was my favorite player. Matt LeCroy, if you don't know, which you 100% do not, Matt LeCroy was a designated hitter for the Minnesota Twins in the early 2000s. Um, he's just like a big softball. He looked like a slow pitch softball player. Like he'd be the best league player at your local slow pitch softball league. And um, I loved him because that's all he could do. He was technically a catcher, I guess, but he only was a designated hitter. And there's one year in the early 2000s where I think he had five pinch hit at bats and he hit a home run and every at bat is a world is a uh, world record is a major league baseball record. So he was my favorite player, but nobody knew who the hell he was outside the Minnesota Twins. He was a bench player. Um, so I used to go down to Fort Myers growing up in Minnesota. I used to go down to Fort Myers for the Minnesota Twins spring training, particularly their workouts before spring training even started. Um, when the pitchers and catchers would report early in mid-February, my folks um, would take me down there and my dad would drop me off at Hammond Stadium and I'd sit and watch the players do pitchers fielding practice, bullpen sessions, everything. I was one of the only people who was down there. Um, it's not like now where they're like a top tier team. They were a high quality team back then, but it was just like they were one of the smallest market teams. Nobody gave a shit about them and nobody gave a shit about them to come down to spring training workouts before the games even started. But I that, that was down there. And so this one year in high school, I was probably 16 years old. I'd say it's 2003, 2004. I was going around getting autographs from everybody. And I see Matt LeCroy being ignored by the few, the few hardcore fans that were there. We're all going after the, the big stars. Now this is a team that included Torrey Hunter and Joe Maurer and Justin Morneau and Johan Santana and Michael Kadair and Francisco, well, not Francisco Liriano yet, but uh, all these like Cy Young, Gold Glove, MVPs. And here's fucking Matt LeCroy just getting ignored by everybody. And he's got his catcher's gear slung over his shoulder about to walk into the locker room. Everybody's crowding around like Torrey Hunter and these guys. I walk up to LeCroy with this ball that I had caught from uh, batting practice earlier. Uh, somebody hit a home run and I went out and I got it. And I brought him a pristine ball. And I said, uh, Mr. LeCroy, will you sign my baseball? And he said, sure. And there's this awkward moment as he was signing it where there's just silence. He has his pen out. And um, in that silence, I just told him the same way you tell like your dad that you love him after years of not saying it. I just said, you're my favorite player, man. And the look, when he looked up at me from the baseball, it's just this look of disbelief. Like he had, he just knew that I was bullshitting him. And he looked me in the eyes and he said, I'm sure. And it wasn't sarcastic. I mean, technically it was sarcastic, but it wasn't like combative. It was just like, thanks for trying to make me feel better, but we both know that you're lying. And I just had this feeling, I, you know, I didn't have the words to articulate, but I just wish I could have said like, no, dude, you're legit my favorite player. <laughs> like, I wish in his mind, you know, he's making like four, 400 grand a year and his teammates are making like 15 million a year. And he's about to, he's fighting for his fucking life. He doesn't even know if he's going to make the team. <laughs> and here's some teenager wearing a Jersey, wearing the cap, wearing everything saying, now, Mr. LeCroy, you are my favorite player. And so I can't help but be reminded of that when I see this little autograph. And that's the thing, like when I found this baseball up at my uh, cabin in Minnesota over the summer, um, my dad and I were playing catch and I didn't have a baseball to play catch with that was any good or like we wore, not, we wore out the other one or we threw it in the rain, something like that. And I found this in an old memento box and I thought about it. I was like, man, do I really want to use the Matt LeCroy baseball and actually play catch with it? Or do I want to hang on to it? Not because it's worth anything, but just for memento's sake. But I just thought, what good does it do sitting 
golly, the sun is bright. I mean, what good does it do just sitting in a box in a cabin forgotten for some unknown reason? Like, why not go out and actually throw it around a little bit?